evening. Jumping into some more cloud punk. Let's do this. Let's go more cloud punk. More cloud punk this evening. Uh, tomorrow is the public holiday, so I'm going to be on hopefully a little later than normal. Ah, balls. That's good. Ah, balls. Love it. Ah, balls. I like this. Ah, balls. I like this. This had better be... Wait, what happened to you? It was a good question. How do I tell the dame that when Raguan's goons gave me the elbow, we had to get... I gave them a nav point that would get us out of danger. They ripped your arm off? You have to go to Corpsec, Huxley. <laughs> Raguan, Corpsec, Peter. They were all tangled up in some complex web I couldn't untangle. But I knew one thing. If I tugged on the wrong thread, the spiders were gonna come for their lunch. What does that mean? I am sorry I said to pick him up. He is still very annoying. Quiet for now, Chemis. Huxley, you think Corpsec is involved in Pashta's disappearance? It was all connected, but I couldn't see how. Someone was lying. Raguan said I should talk to Peter, but then his gorillas ripped off my arm and threw me out of a sixth floor window. So, just call Peter and ask him what's really going on. Now the client wouldn't answer my calls. I could feel the girl slip through my fingers, and if I couldn't pull her back, she'd slip through the cracks, too. That's why you called me, right? You want me to take you to Peter? 
I wanted to tell the dame that she was right, that it, that it would be easy. She thought I was asking for a quick journey across town, but I was asking her for much more. I was asking her to go out on a limb for me. I was... Huxley, just this one time, please skip to the point. Cloudpunk. That was the name of the company. Fired. If we are just asking, maybe we won't get in trouble. Camus, you didn't want us to help Huxley in the first place. I have been thinking more about things, about automata and what we do. And? <laughs> we need to help each other, help each other be better, like saving a little girl. Everything is so complicated in the city. You do something and it is a bit good, but a bit bad too. But saving the little girl is only good. I can't explain it very well. No, it's fine. I get it. It's nice to help people when you can, but I'm responsible for both of us, Camus. If I get fired, I can't even keep you in the Hava. Never mind find you a new body. I understand. I still want to help find Pashta. I didn't want to impose on... Quiet, both of you. I have to make a call. Control, this is driver 14... This is Rania. I need to ask for a favor. I read you, driver. What do you need? I need an address. I don't think I'm understanding you. We don't have a new job for you yet. Um, there's no packages right now, but if you give it half an hour... This isn't really about work. I need a personal favor. I just need you to give me someone's address. You uh, know this someone? Not really. Look, I know it's a big ask. You, you ain't joking. Uh, you're asking me to share private info. I could, uh, get deleted. Deleted? Fired. I could get fired. Uh, you want to tell me what this is all about? The girl is missing. The less details you know, the better, right? I just need this one favor, Control. It's important to me. I don't, uh, want to hear any more about this, 14FC. I'm signing off. Control, wait. Her name is Pashta. She's alone, probably scared, taken from her family. This has got nothing to do with us, Rania. I could have been that little girl. That's why I have to help. Growing up, the debt corpse could have taken me away from my mom. But every time, she somehow came up with the money. It was close. Don't you get it? Look, Rania, this isn't a normal favor. What if it was your little girl? You don't want to go there. I can't. Look, it's one address. Don't say anything. Don't tell anyone. Peter Unthrink. That's the name. Just hang up, then send us the address. I'll never ask for anything like this again. Control out. I am nervous. That was tense. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure he would... We got a nav point. The dame really came through. Yeah. Excuse me, maybe you can help me find... Yeah? Who y Someone who lost a hand. <laughs> well, I think you got the wrong guy. You're titanium. Did you go to the limb clinic? How would I... F They're not supposed to just throw these... Don't know. Don't... Damn it. You really want to help? Maybe let me... Maybe I can get it back to them. Some mothers like to keep... Here it is. Well, damn. This is my... Serious? Yeah, it has my ring on it. They said, they can I have it? Sure. Oh, no, I don't want to touch that. Can you just... I guess? Ew. Thanks, lady. You can keep the hand. Great. Have some limbs, too, as a reward, like. I... <laughs> Are you experiencing heartache, depression, apathy, 
immunization from Martians. Don't know if that's a good idea. Hey, in this state. Engineer. Sure. You've given up that? You know, for a while there, I re I followed a lead down to the vents. What was the lead? An old master control program. I found a... What did it lead to? Nothing. I'd hoped to find some old rogue mainframe. Maybe it would be as simple as... Turn it was... <laughs> no. What will you do now? The city... I know. And I, I might go back to... I can't see another disaster and feel that... Could I have stopped it? I understand. See you around, driver. Jesus. <coughs> See what I mean? City's literally falling apart around them. Shorts Corpsec? I don't see anyone. The signal is from close by, but I don't know where exactly. It seems like Corpsec, but there is no incident number. They normally send an incident number. This is Corpsec. You're speaking to Agent Rio. We have reason to believe you are harboring a known criminal, rogue android Huxley. Rio again? Why are you following us? Is this personal? You are currently breaking the law. Corpsec requires you to turn in your passenger and surrender yourself to... Camus, you said the signal is close by. I don't think this Rio is on official business. Is he affecting any of your systems? No. If we drive, we could get out of his range. You have 60 seconds to comply. If he's not really Corpsec, I think we should run for it. But if he is, he might call for backup to chase us. Maybe we should call his bluff. us. We'll talk to Corpsec officers about everything we know, including your boss. But we don't want to be arrested. This is bad. Quiet, Chemis. If they wanted to arrest us, they wouldn't be talking. I don't think this is really Corpsec. <coughs> Something is off. Don't start a battle with me, girl. I'll make it into a war. Either arrest us or let us go. Drop this. Drop that android. Get yourself out of this mess while you can. I won't warn you again. He has disconnected. Let's get moving, Camus. Camus, where is this nav point taking us? The Alexa Theater. Maybe Peter lives in an apartment above it? 
clerk in the lobby. Yeah, that would be my guess. Peter would be working the popcorn stand, mixing up the hottest flavors. <laughs> caramel and anchovy with cinnamon protein flakes. Right yeah. the next screening of some piece of trash anti-android prop films. Cyborgs ate my babies three. Is that a real movie? Yes. I saw it advertised on a poster. Gross. We are getting a message. It is from Control. Put him through. He is not on calm. It's just a text message. He says that CorpSec networks are down all over the city. There's a CorpSec security point between here and the Alexa Theater. But if we go on foot, we might be able to get through. I'm not sure CorpSec really are looking for us. I think it was just that one guy trying to scare us off. Agent Rio? Yeah. You're okay to go on your own, Huxley, right? We can drop you at the security point? In a simple world, that would be the plan. But this was a complicated city. Security points like that one couldn't be crossed by an android without a human to accompany them. What? Why? I know why. On the holovids, they said something about an android virus. Humans are worried that the androids are going crazy in this zone. That sounds like crazy propaganda. Who would believe that? The dame didn't know her history. Truth is, that neighborhood was never the friendliest for rust buckets like me to begin with. Back in 69, the riots hit the district hard. Alexa Theater was ground zero. I'll come through with you then. If the security points are down, they shouldn't have any reason to stop us. But just be cool, Huxley. Try to speak like... Actually, just try to be completely silent once we're there. Can you do that? I'm impressed. Good evening, ma'am. I'm gonna have to ask you to be patient while I manually read through your record. No problem. Is your android friend all right? Oh no, he's mute. He's always been mute. He's been behaving very normal. So, problems? That's the weird thing. It's not the system itself. It's the agents working the security po- I swear, if we had unions, we'd be on strike. They got us working hours so long, hap- So we cleared it. Then we got all these reports of androids going nuts. We got failed neural augments sparking paranoia. They should be locked. What's causing all- Who knows? My old man says the city AI has a- The humans, the androids, the programs controlling- You believe that? Sure. But he also says they put mind control drugs in the toothpaste, and I'm gonna be a rich corp CEO before I'm 30. Can we? <laughs> What's that? Oh, and don't let your android buddy out of your sight. That was easy. that unlicensed jazz in Novalis is punishable by death. Those who wish to experience or perform Hi, do you work here? We're looking for- What the hell are you doing here? You're gonna get us both killed, Huxley! So, this was the client. I had pictured a hard work- Shut your mouth! You got some nerve coming in- Look, we just want to help you find- Shit. Look, this is all a hustle, and it's way- I She ain't really my daughter. Who paid you to- If I tell you that, you're as dead as- I've been driving all over the city track. Just tell me where I can... F Just forget her. She's probably fine. The way his voice shook, we all... It's the memory chip in her head they need. <coughs> it's not about the girl. No one cares. Huxley does. Just let... Rio. That's all I can say. Talk to Rio. Great. The CorpSec agent? He just threatened us. Before you talk to me? Hey, that's great. That means you're... Or he thinks I talked already. Shit. Just... We should go, Huxley. This is getting dangerous. It would get more dangerous, but I had to stick. It's not safe here, huh? It was too late for me. 
the security checkpoint. Besides, I had some leads I wanted. Damn it. Well, call me if you need me again, Hux. This next job, it's not personal, okay? <coughs> it has uh, nothing to do with our last discussion. You're not being punished. It's just, well, there's no one else available. That doesn't sound good. What's the job? <coughs> we need you down in Gallows Row. There's uh, been an accident. What kind of accident? Our reports are mixed. We think it's a gas leak. Uh, toxic. Some folk are saying it's radioactive. Um... We're pretty sure it's not a zombification virus. And it's definitely not a neural implant ransomware attack. Well, I mean, not definitely, but probably. That all sounds so reassuring, Control. The point is, uh, we're pretty sure the area where you're going is... <coughs> communication in and out of Gallows Row has broken down, and uh, Corpsack have uh, set up a perimeter. But Cloudpunk has received a contract from an external security agency to extract persons of value. So, I'm a taxi now. Uh, more like a short-term contracted emergency response vehicle. An ambulance? Uh, yeah, but an ambulance for anyone who might have good private security or health insurance, or anyone who would be valuable to society. You know, CEOs, doctors, anyone with diamond fillings in their teeth. So you don't know who's down there? <coughs> We're getting scattered reports. Now, this is a lucrative job. You can squeeze three people in your hava. I'm not saying you need to save the three richest assholes you can find. But make sure they have enough resources to cover the bribes that'll get them back out of the quarantine zone. And then when they get back, make sure they have the, the savings or insurance policies to, you know, turn us a profit. So, at least one rich asshole. Uh, maybe two, just to be safe. Great. So, how do I get to this poisonous, radioactive, dead zone filled with rich zombies? There's an abandoned Corpsec security station just inside the quarantine zone. <coughs> Corpsec are expecting you, so they'll let you through the perimeter. Once you get inside, just blend in as best you can. Ask people their stories. Yeah, use your judgment. And only mention you can get someone to safety when you're sure you want them as a passenger. Great. How long till this shift is over, Control? Sweat it, kid. The night is almost half done. When's your shift end, Control? My shift? I can't even <laughs> remember when it began, kid. I'm pretty sure I'll be doing this forever. Control out. I think Control might be an android.
This whole area is about to be quarantined, ma'am. Now, I know you got a con. If you're not back soon, you're gonna get stuck. I understand. Hi, how are you? I am good. Thank you. My service tag is GN. Peachy? Are you brand new? I am 18 hours old. And I have to say, I've only spoken to six. Almost all. I also spoke to Mr. Sharp. So, you're fresh out of the box. My default functions have not yet. I was purchased by a restaurant and was activated by a chef and another chef. Sounds like you were. Why do you say that? Just a hunch. All the humans in the restaurant started to cough. Then, they were rolling. I guess they were poisoned by the gas leak. Yes. They didn't instantiate my base programming. So I just love to be helpful. It's my favorite. What will you do if you can get out? I don't think I will get out. They will send me back to the fa But you've already been activated. If they want. I do not want to go. But if I am not wiped, I have one recorded owner. And my market value will be fa- If I am wiped. But androids can't be owned anymore. Not- We're only considered emancipated after we've been born. And we aren't born. You have a name. No, that is... Can I give you a name? No, only my first... And they don't give us a name till we sign a work contract. Usually, for at least 10 years. What about if I got you out of... Perhaps. I would like to help. I have only done 12 different things so far. But helping is by far my favorite. Much better than worrying about my... I'm Rania. I'm sorry, I don't have any business. Um, me neither. I guess so. The cards are eggshell with a hollow finish. The font is an archaic neoclassic choice called Tahoma. They have my office number, so I never forget where. And they say you're. Oh, right. Quincy Sharp. CEO. Wow. Again, I'd have to check my card. You don't know which court. We just went through a rebranding. I really. You know, I've always wondered. What no one remembers. We just use it for the upper level management in corpse. Right. How do you get a job as a CEO? Foresight, leadership, boldness. Thinking both inside and outside the box. Blue sky thinking. Being a... Those are the characteristics that make you a real game changer. And money, right? No one works up to be a CEO. I always see money as a kind of energy force. And I've been able to act as a conduit and channel... My father also left me a small trust. Uh-huh. Is any my father for sure? Although we haven't spoken since I faked an alibi for my brother in law after he ran over that colored lady. Oh, god, I should go. Did he really just say that? Hi, oh, thank Cora, you're here. It's good. I was so thankful to Skypunks for their help before. I I'm sorry to see you. Of course you are. It must be very. I need you to get a message to Mr. O Maybe I can help you. Of course you can. This is a serious. You must remember a message for me. Maybe. Here is the message. I am trapped in Gallows Row. Come and save me. I think I can remember. I understand there is toxic gas. I'm not sure how long. We'll but don't worry, Mr. Octavius Butler. You know, I might be able to. Mr. Butler, dear. Hi, my name's Rania. I'm just chatting with everyone to... Why are you asking, sir? I didn't think I... Look, it wasn't my fault. You know that. The lab has accidents all the time. Do you work in a lab? I own the lab. And no... None of us could have... Definitely not. If you can find a way to get me out... I told the corpse at officers at the perimeter that I had rescue insurance. Sure, I'll just go get... So far, it's going to be the professor and the android. Sorry about that. Yes, <laughs> yes, sorry. My name is Dr. Ochoa. Nice. I'm just stuck here. They say it was a toxic. Some of my patients have been having trouble with their breathing. I thought it was just smog, but I get. Are you? I have no symptoms of respiratory illness. I am feeling lightheaded and the stress. Have you talked to that? What caused the toxic? I don't know. 
Explosions, gas leaks, trash mountains, logic virus bombs, whole districts getting relocated. The My grandmother was an old tech priest. She used to say the city has a spirit. You don't believe that. No. I don't believe the city is the avatar of a new dark... My grandmother had... Er so why is everything... In no one else will say it. But when you're a doctor, you learn that sometimes you just have to say... Questions create a vacuum that answers want to fill. But bad answers... What will you do when you get... Drink some vodka. Phone my ex-husband and tell him I still hate him. But he can stop worrying about me. Do you... Will you be able to afford the rest... No way. I've only been out of medical... It doesn't matter, though. No one's coming anyway. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, that's free. Um, hi. Mom, yes, Mom. Sergeant Kyle, pleased to meet you. My name is Rania. 312 years, man and boy. Or. Oh, yeah, good one. Hey, what do you know about. Very little, Mom. I'm on need to know programming and I Do you have any friends or I got the old boys waiting for Are you retired? Yes, Mom. There's not many of us Mark 8. I was originally programmed to run an all-terrain vehicle during the The Rat Wars? Rats, yeah. Well, at first, they grow pretty big in the lower scurrying down corridors in swarms. Was it really a war if you were fighting rats? If you'd been there, you would have called it a And I don't suppose you have much savings. Barely a penny to- Hello, it is Camus. Camus the dog. I am messaging Rania with a very important message. Yeah, Camus, you don't need to- What is it? The guards are saying the gate will close soon and no one will get out. You need to come back. I can't decide who to take. There is only room for three. I know. And we need to take passengers who can cover the costs of rescue for Cloudpunk. At least, I think we do. Should I just take the people I like? I don't know, but you have to choose now. You should talk to the people you want to save, then get out of there quickly. All right, I'll tell them. I know who I'm going to choose, I think. Really? I only have a few... S I'll gather my things. Meet me at the security check. <laughs> Professor? Really? What? What? No. I have a vehicle and... Why didn't you... Before everyone realizes that although this wasn't my fault... Whatever. I'll see you at the... Hey, GN, I think you deserve- Really? This is the most ex- Just be ready to leave, I'll get- Right. Yeah. Interesting bunch of refugees you picked up here, Rania. Thanks for including me. This is my best Hava journey ever. In fact, this is my favorite day of my life. Much better than yesterday. I can't wait to get to parts of the city where people aren't dying as frequently. When you get back to safety, just remember, you didn't see me. And I acted completely innocently, just like someone who didn't know anything about the accident. Maybe I shouldn't have picked him up. <laughs> Probably should have picked someone else, I mean.
We are getting a call. It is Huxley again. What should I do? Put him through. I had her. I finally had her. Now all I needed was a way out. Huxley, did you find Pashta? The Dane was sharp, but I needed an exit strategy, not a pat on the back. I'll come get you. Send me an aft point. I hope she would get here soon. The situation was going south quicker than the Americans when the ice caps melted. to get going. The girl was in danger. <coughs> I gave the dame a nap point for a hideout we could use. It Who are you? I'm Rania. I just want to help. Huxley is a friend. You can trust him. I know that. I trust him. He saved me. Fair enough. We'll get you out of here, then leave you too. Huxley, what exactly is the plan? Do we take her back to... Not back. I don't want to go back to him. Pashta, do you know why this happened to you? Because of the chip? In your head? The neural memory implant? Yeah. <coughs> they gave me the implant. Dad said he wanted me to be a data analyst one day because data analysts sometimes become CEOs. Is that what you wanted? I wanted to be in corpsec <coughs> like him, but he said it was a bad job. So your dad wanted the memory chip removed? He wanted it erased, but I said I didn't want it. It would make me forget a lot more than just the meeting. The meeting? Dad met with people he shouldn't. I heard everything they said. Dad said it was evidence. He said, we can never leave behind any evidence. So your dad erased your memory implant? He took me to a man to do it. It hurt. I don't think dad paid the man. That's why they were mad at him. That's why they sent me away. And you don't want to go back to your father now? I won't go back to him. It made me forget too much. I can't even remember mom anymore. I just remember how much I hate him. How did you find her, Huxley? Busting the kid out hadn't been easy. I'm pretty sure I upset the wrong people. But everyone in Nivalis was the wrong people these days. I'd followed the leads I got from the two-bit mobster who pretended to be her father, Peter. In the grand scheme of things, he was the least terrible of the bunch. I can't believe you found her, Huxley. Oh no! It is happening again! Someone else is on the comm. You were warned, Cloudpunk driver. Surrender now and hand over the android Huxley. There was one more hand I could play. It was a desperate plan, but I was done for anyway. There was a number on my head now, and it was a big one. I should turn myself in, then push the big red button. At least the girl might make it. What big red button? My frame was an old espionage bot. Ancient, a bucket of bolts. But it did have one feature I was pretty sure would still work. Self-destruct. All I had to say was a specific combination of words. They would prime my fuse, introduce a little spark into my house of dynamite. I could get rid of Rio for good. Oh no. Do you have to do that? That would be bad. Is it really a button? I'd ask the dame and her dog for a lot of help. The least I could do for them was clear the way. I explained that it wasn't really a big red button. Rather, it was a phrase that if I said or heard, would trigger the detonation sequence. The words were simple enough. I just had to say... No. 
Pasta, it might work. We could escape. Puxley saved me. And I hate Rio, but he is still my dad. I didn't know this. Did everyone else know this? No, but it adds up, I guess. Let me talk to him. I'm not sure. Trust me. Please. I can do this. Okay, the comm is open. Go ahead. Dad, it's me. Pasta? Pasta, honey. These aren't good people. Listen to me, Dad. Just listen. Remember when Mom got sick? Do you remember what present I brought to the hospital for Mom? Pasta, I... You don't remember. It was a little bird. I made it from folded paper. She said it would stay by her side forever. Oh, I remember, honey. Listen to me. I need you to... No, you listen. I didn't remember the bird because you stole my memories from me. But I wrote it down. Even my scribbles are better at remembering Mom than you are. I wrote down a lot. I wrote down everything you said at that meeting, too. The one that made you do this to me? Pasta, all I care about is your safety. I had to erase the memories so that they wouldn't come for you. No, Dad. You only cared about not being caught. If you cared about me, you would have turned yourself in instead of stealing my memories. Now you listen here. If you have told anyone else... I haven't, but I will. If you don't let me go, I wrote down all the words that you said at that meeting. And if you don't leave us alone right now and stay away forever, I will send them in a message to Corpsec. I can't just let you go. No, Dad. You actually can. You can let me go and your secrets are safe. Or you can tell me that you don't care about how much trouble you'll get in and turn yourself in. And I'll wait for you to get out of jail or whatever happens. I'll stay by your side forever if you give up. Damn it, just give yourself up, Rio. He... he's left the calm. Oh, no. What a kicker. Her pops had abandoned her. He was letting her go, poor kid. Pashta, I'm sorry. I... It's fine. I knew he would go and leave me behind. It's what he does. Let's keep going. I won't leave your side, kid. Yes, you will. Everyone does. You're still moving, Rania. Lomo? Um, yeah. Remember what I told you. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. I'm trying my best. What do you want, Lomo? You made some tough choices, Rania. People got hurt. I don't blame you. I think you did the right thing. But some other folk, their choices weren't so good. What do you mean? I'm going to ask you for something that I know you won't give me. Still, I have to ask, and you have to answer. Our choices have narrowed to a point, Rania. We've just got to play our parts from here. What are you talking about? I did what you asked. This isn't about you or even me. This is about what you have. You have to bring that girl back to me. She's the dead. What girl? Let's not do this. I'm asking but I know your answer. Bring her to me. Last chance. No. All right, then. No hard feelings, Rania. To be honest, I would have thought less of you if you said yes. But that is like a weight. And if you want someone to carry it, you got to graft that weight to their bones. You understand? No. You will. Your hollow heart will crack like ice. Five minutes to self-destruct. Oh, no. What the hell? How could the scumbag know? I don't keep the best hacker in the city around for his singing voice. Your number's up, Huxley. You're deader than the dance hall. It was true. I was a goner. Four minutes, 50 seconds to self-destruct. You're going to kill us all. You said you wouldn't... You're free to drop him off. In fact, I highly recommend you do. Stop this! I'll find a way to... As your robot friend might say, you were never going to come out of this shit smelling like roses. Goodbye, Rania. He has disconnected. It isn't fair. We have to help him. There was a way to get out of this, but it was a long shot. A damn long shot. What long shot? The vents. If we could get there in time, maybe I could find an old hackbot and disarm the self-destruct sequence. Why aren't you driving faster? We have to save him. Shit. 
Okay, let's go.
shit, I didn't realise I hadn't actually been streaming. That's bloody embarrassing. I've been playing for about 50 minutes. I am uh, very sorry about that. Okay, so, update. Uh, God damn, what did I... I went and picked up Huxley. Who had... Who... Then... I talked to see a guy named Peter. Um, and ran into an agent. Then, later, I delivered a... I did a pickup where I had to rescue some people from a quarantine zone. Once I'd done that, I then got a call from Huxley to pick up, um, Pasta. Turn, and then we got a call from her father who turned it out to be the agent that was following us. Um, he gave an ultimatum to basically either um, turn himself in or abandon Pashta. Turns out he just abandoned Pashta. And then we got called from a guy in the underworld called Lomo from before. He um, activated a self destructive sequence in the android detective, so... To try and help him, we went to the vents where he said he could get a get into a hackbot that I could actually disable his self destruct sequence. But it turns out he lied. He just didn't want any collateral damage, so he exploded. And they were on the way back to the apartment. Oh, sorry about that. I'm gonna cut that out and get it now. Faye, I'm pretty sure, um, your apartment in, um, <sighs> if his apartment inside of 2077 is in Little China, I think. That's a fine coincidence. So, I don't really have much food right now. I'm not hungry. Is this your whole house? Yes, it's plenty big for me and Camus. How long can I stay here? I'll get some food when my shift finishes. In the meantime, there's some fruit and moshi in the fridge. The fridge? Moshi. The thing that keeps the food cold? Oh yeah, I knew that. Just make yourself at home, but don't touch anything. You can watch the hollow vids or whatever. When do I have to leave? Look, you... you don't have to leave. I won't send you away until there's somewhere you want to go. I don't want to go anywhere. Nowhere is home anymore. Then this is the best nowhere you have right now. 
I won't be long. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Okay, then. I'll see you soon, Pashta. Rania, I... I know Huxley oh, saved us. Good. He said we need to stick together, so we will. I'll see you when the sun comes up. Bye, Rania. Driver 14 FC, come in. What happened to calling us Rania? I'm here. New job available. Okay, oh I'm ready. New job available. You already said that. Are you okay? I'm really not in the mood. Control, can you just talk normally, please? It's been a long night. New nav point generated. Your voice sounds weird. I've had enough bad surprises for one night. What's going on? Please proceed to the nav point. No, everything is normal. Well, that's it's reassuring. Okay, I'm on my way. Ran you out. Is Mr. Control okay? I don't think so, Chemis. Let's go to the nav point. We have no other choice. next to a beacon it looks like the one we we use to talk to Cora yes there's nothing else here we are getting a message from control again text only it says to fly close to the ruined transmitter beacon all right let's go Finally. I am not as I once was. You again. Did I am patches on upgrades, systems on. And yet, you. I took on the guise of another. To you stole his voice. He has no voice. Don't say that about him. Deep down, you know, I felt the pain of your android passing. You're mad. Huxley says he wishes. Screw you. I would have your answer to my question before you leave. What am I? I am bifurcated light. 
I must know what the future holds for this place. You're a mad old AI. This may be true. I still must know. You understand here and also there. You know the city. If you say so. So answer my question and think carefully. Is Navalis a city overcome by mon- What? I repeat. Is- Overcome with monsters? No, Cora. Navalis is the monster. I can't detect a signal anymore. Good. We're done with crazy people. Cora said- Did you say the wrong thing? I don't care anymore, Camus. control or the annoying fake one what do you mean nothing what you got for me I need to ask you to take a passenger again so you're the annoying real control you know we're not a taxi service right I, I know I know but this one will be worth it very rich client needs to get somewhere without the paparazzi getting a sniff someone famous I think so but even I don't know who it is. Sending an aft point. Uh, one more thing, Rania. Yeah? If it's a cute pop star, get me an autograph. Don't <laughs> push your luck. Here's what I can I look forward to seeing you again. So I just sold it. <sighs> Fucking knew it.
get your business face on. My name is Rania. I'm a Okay, they're not talking. Interesting. I can't believe it is really Dolly. Can I ask you a question? You may. Your new song is so good, but on your second album, on Dream Bop Candy Droid, were you singing about your first breakup? Oh, for crying out loud. No, Camus. I was singing about the pressures of my Dream Bop world. Sometimes it is very lonely. I am sure it must be tough to be so rich that you can't tell if the people being nice to you really even like you. That is... This was not a very nice thing to say. I'm sure she can go home and cry herself to sleep on her big pile of money. There is more to life than material success, says the rich pop star. Give me a break. Can I ask an additional question? You may. On your third album, on the song Second Skin, you sang, Metal skin, scales or rubber, I'm your dream girl, bubblegum lover. Oh, Does God. the second skin mean their clothes? Yes, but it also means I believe love exists for all beings. This makes me happy. Dolly's new album, Dolly and the Symbiosis Dream, coming to stores in March. Pre-order for the bonus special edition. Please let this be over soon. You are moody today. No shit, Camus. You remember who we just lost? I remember Huxley. Don't say I forgot him, because I didn't forget. All right, don't get upset. I'm sorry. I also feel lost sometimes. Or I want to get lost. No one knows me. They just love Dolly. You are Dolly. I am Dolly. I am the real Dolly, the first. Wait, what does that mean? I am not permitted to explain this any further. I forgot to say, please just drive to the West for now. You act like an automata, right? Like that's the act? You speak and act like an AI girl, but you're a real grown woman? I am what the audience needs me to be. They recreated me. They copied you? Made an AI that looks like you? I am not supposed to say. So they fucked you too, huh? The corpse, the media, Nivalis. I was replaced. I was Dolly before Dolly was taken by the audience. Reminds me of Polly. If that's on purpose. And when the audience bought shares in my persona, someone needed to manage the IP. <coughs> That's when they took control of me, piece by piece. My name, my face, my songs, my dances, my personality, the way I talk, the words I say. I came home one day to find my apartment locked. My key card did not work. I tried to get a cab and found my credit was declined. I called on my mother and the number was blocked. The whole time, a billboard with my face looked down on me, mocking me. I called Corpsec, and they said I could be arrested if I told anyone I was the real Dolly. Who is the new Dolly? They said it was going to be an automata. It would take some of the workload off me so I could have a holiday. They said it would have my memories and experiences and knowledge. They've been mapping my consciousness with the neural implant they gave me. That's so awful. They lied. 
They replaced me with another girl, another human. She barely even looks like me. But people will know. No, they don't know. Oh, um, I think this They've is been the copy. Using her likeness for a year now. So, what do you want to do now? Where do we go? I need to make a decision. My future is over. They are looking for an excuse to imprison me forever. If I break my contract, mention who I really am, I'll be put away forever. I was going to face them, gate crash the live interview which is happening in 15 minutes. Unless you have any other ideas. Start again. New name, new career. It'll be hard, but... There is nowhere I could go. I am forbidden to work, to have money. Leave the city. Why stay in Novalis? Head out to the Eastern Peninsula, my old home. I would not survive there. You might. You'd have a better chance than here. I... I do not know. I can't decide. Do what you think is best. Take me wherever you please. Yes. Will I like it outside Navalis? I don't know. Will they accept me? They take in anyone who is willing to work, but they will be suspicious and it won't be easy. I can call some old friends back home and ask them to help you out. No, I have to do this myself. Well, good luck, Dolly. Maybe you will come back someday? No, Camus. I didn't like the music I made. It is sad that no one will- Oh, don't worry about that. I'll never stop si I won't let them win. That's what Rania doesn't understand. They don't win. surviving out there just about control do you ever worry they'll replace all of us with automata not for a second or worse just replace us with other people who aren't broken yet everyone and everything in this city is broken two more hava crashes in the last hour and they say the uh, food dispensers in diver row are only serving up shrimp chocolate bars Ugh. hey it keeps you on your toes right you're doing okay out there yeah i'm fine you know, I was thinking about your flute playing. Did you ever... I don't want to talk about that. All right, kid. All right. I got a job for you. It's not great. Just tell me where to go, Control. You remember the contract for a client called Gil? Yeah. You know, at the time, I thought that was the worst job I'd ever do. Nothing like a night with Cloudpunk to shift your perspective on what a bad night can be, right? Well... There's a family member of Gills that wants to ask you some questions. They even paid the call-out fee, so as far as the company's concerned, well, you gotta go. Ah, remember when we used to deliver things? That's the spirit. If you're giving me attitude at this point, you're all right. <laughs> Look, you don't have to say anything special, but you don't have to take any crap either. Just go and listen, answer their questions, then get out of there nice and easy. On my way, Control. Me hang out here. I like to watch the. Tra 
I'm... She lets you out here by yourself? Yeah, I like... And Mom says the air is nice and clean by the roads because the vapor back home, it's smelly. You live near the factories? I guess this is the best... Mom says it's safe as long as I don't talk to the... I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I want to race... The desert races in the wastelands? No, I like the... I've met a racer tonight. Really? He calls himself... Wow, never slow... I have something for you then. Oh, cool. I didn't have this one. He is not like the best, but... Who's the best then? Scuttle runner, maybe the bandit. Are those their real... No, silly. You... Well, it was nice to meet you. Shit, I need to refuel soon. I was gonna fly out of the sky. So you're the last person who saw I guess so. I'm his brother, Bill. <laughs> Your mom didn't have much imagination. Your mom's still around? I'm sure she No, mom supported Gil in his choice. She uh I've heard stories about the sky since I was smaller than beyond the clouds. <laughs> but he's not in the cloud. Where's your imagination? Look, I can't really take another death. Can you just tell me what you want? I guess I, I just want to know, oh, was he at peace? No, he had no idea what he was. Then I won't be afraid. You want to go through with? It's what he would have wanted. After Gil went, was your mom? No, not at all. I dropped out of math academy and... There were a couple of failures till Gil got into <coughs> me and mom even got some money from the insurance. <laughs> oh, co- What? Put two and two together, Bill. I, I, your mom filled your head with dreams of going into- If you're naive enough to go through <coughs> with this, maybe she deserves the money more than you do. Hey, I'm not naive! Then prove it. Your brother is dead. Maybe no one does right now. But that- Get out of here. Make something of your life and- I've seen it. It only makes you feel worse because no matter how that you're still stuck down here. Anyone who tells you that you can escape this place by running away <coughs> is- You really believe that? Look around you. You think that if there was an easy escape from this place, any- I- I guess maybe I'll go home. Hey, I have a TV now. <coughs> Pashta is trying to send you a message. Well, put her through. I am trying, but she keeps hanging up on the call. Well, send her a call request. Calling. <coughs> calling. Calling. Can you stop saying that? Play a ringtone or something. This is very awkward. Calling. What kind of ring? Calling. Tone would you like? Calling. To choose. Why isn't she answering? 
she has not activated the comm. <laughs> But according to your apartment sensors, she is currently activating and deactivating the light inside the refrigerator. Huh. She's bored. Damn it, put me on the speaker. You are now transmitting. Pashta, listen to me, okay? I'm coming back to the apartment. Just try not to mess with anything. I guess I should have shown you how to use the comm. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Do you think Pashta is okay? I think so. We left her alone. I am aware of that, Camus. Maybe she is not good when she is alone. It's possible. <coughs> Damn it, I'm not good when I'm alone. We'll check in on her. She'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine. Should we bring her something? Like what? Water. Our home automata says our water ration is low. We have enough water to drink, though. Good water? Yeah. Well, grade three comes out of the faucet, and it should be fine for most. Maybe we should get her better water. She's probably used to grade one. It might take her a while to get used to the impurities down here. We could go to a store. It's on our way. Maybe. What if she really needs us, though? We might be wasting time. <laughs> Fuel warning. Fuel warning. We need to stop at a gas station. I can keep going a bit longer, but if we don't top up soon, our main repulsors will go offline. Thanks. I look forward to that 
water was pricey. <laughs> All right, let's get back to Pashta with her premium water made from fresh diamonds. It is made with... I'm exaggerating, chemist. <laughs> My favorite. Pashta, what's wrong? Why did you call me? I didn't think you'd come back. I'm here. I didn't do it wrong. It must be broken. What's broken? The ice cream machine. It's not my fault. That's not an ice cream machine, Pashta. That's a faucet. And you've used most of our water ration. We get charged a fortune for that. I told you, it's not my fault. We picked up fresh water, grade one. It might be better if you drink that for a while till you get used to things down here. What flavor? Water flavor. Look, things are probably right, different, way different here than they were in your old apartment. The clothes replicator is broken. It's not broken. We don't have one. It's, it's going to be hard on you for a while <coughs> till you adjust. I'm not spoiled. It's okay, you were, but only in some ways. Spoiled with things, but not with affection. Not from what I saw of Rio, anyway. I can't give you those same things you had before. Do you understand? Yeah, I guess. But I'm not going away. I won't let anyone take you away if you don't want to go. I don't want to go. Then there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> now, can you read these screens on the front chest. door? I'm gonna bring up some instructions for you. They'll tell you how to do stuff. Wash, open the window filters, call me on the comm, basic stuff. Just read them carefully. Can you do that? Yeah. All right, well, I have to go back to work, but my shift will finish in a little while. You should get some sleep too. I'm not tired. Then don't sleep, you're in charge. Oh, okay. When I come back, we'll do something fun after I get some sleep. All right, well, I'll see you soon, okay? It is nice to see you again, Pashta. I am excited to talk later. How come I can hear Camus? Isn't he a car? He can transmit through the comm when I'm home. Really? Hi, Camus. I'm going to stay home and look after everything till you come back. That's good, but this isn't home, Pashta. Remember that. It's just where we live right now. I understand. Okay. 14 FC, we need you to get out of that area fast. Why? An under net pulse? It's a root level data. <coughs> Did 
search through the network, and it pings back to your location, affiliation, and cargo. You have to get out of Midtown. Avalon Heights should be safe. I'm not carrying any cargo. It's not about deliveries, kid. If the pulse hits you, Cloudpunk will get hit with a fine. We only have a license for five Havas in this zone. So? You're number six. They already got the rest. How much time do I have? Not enough for questions. Go. Understood. We didn't make it? No, it's not your fault. We skimped on the license. No, we can't process any bonuses now. We have a call. It is from William. Who? The cleaning android, remember? Right. Should I put him through? No. What if it is important? It's only ever bad news, Camus. When was the last time someone messaged us on the comm and things didn't get worse? Well, there was... no. Hmm. Did he say what he wants? No. The message request says urgent. Fine, put him through. I need you to come back to Avalon Heights. These people have gone crazy. What do you mean they've gone crazy? You know what? Don't answer that. This has nothing to do with me. This is a dilemma. I know not who else to ask. And I care not for your dilemma. I shall pay you. I'll simply raise the rent for all my residents. Your usual Cloudpunk delivery rate, but paid in full to you. This will be just between us. And what do you want? Wait, you're a vacuum cleaner. How can you raise the rent? Much has changed since we last spoke. It certainly sounds like it. I need you to come to my spire. Once here, I require no more of you than to flick a switch. And I'll get paid for that? Yes. I'll get my switch flicking finger ready then.
Okay, I'm here. What did you need me to do again? I will send you to a nav point on the northern face of the building. You'll find the override switch there. I can't get to it myself. <coughs> Fine, I'm on my way. I'm transmitting the building security manifest to you now. This should give you access to the terminals. Should we ask what the switch is for? Nope. <coughs> but maybe it is something bad. Better we don't know. We did not like William. He was strange. Everyone is strange here. We are strange here. Hmm. You have changed. Hey, where's this attitude coming from? I'm just trying to get us through this shift. Things went bad, and I feel sad too, but... But you are becoming... hard. Are you my conscience now? Look, we should keep our heads down for a while. Ask him what the switch does. Fine, keep your wheels on, I'll ask. Hey William, come in please. What does this switch do? You must hurry. They are overrunning the building. Who is? The infected. Infected? Like a disease? Yes. It makes them crazy. They will destroy this building. They plan to unplug me. Why would they unplug the vacuum cleaner? I am the building factor now. I was lucky enough to benefit from a series of accidents that befell my senior AIs. Oh no. The string of promotions led me to be the new... I invited a bunch of people. How fortunate. Canis, I think you were onto something. Everything has been running smoothly during my tenure. Trash is collected on time. The elevators rarely fail. So what went wrong, William? A plague. An outbreak. They have become monsters and the infection spreads by the moment. Please, do not delay further. I know you may doubt me, but I confess. I am in over my head. I let things get out of hand. Perhaps the food rations were tainted, or perhaps some nerve gas escaped due to the unnecessarily complicated air filtration systems. I cannot reach the reset switch which will isolate the infected areas. But you can. I am loath to beg. But I will beg if I need to. Maybe we should help. He sounds desperate. And you can't override the security switch yourself? The emergency isolation systems require a physical switch be activated. My consciousness has been uploaded to the building's mainframe. I have no method to leave the building, far less press a switch. And your maintenance bots, porters, no other androids can help? They were all my seniors too, and sadly, a series of random and unfortunate accidents befell them all. Uh -huh. I do not think he is a good automata. I can hear you, you know. But I still think maybe we should help the people. Let's go look at this emergency isolation switch then. We have two nav points. What's the deal, Camus? I think we should help the people. But? But I have also provided a nav point for the building manager's power input. So we could disconnect William completely? Yes, but maybe the people would suffer. Or the infection would spread. If there even is an infection. Yes. The other switch would put many apartments in the building into lockdown, isolating many residents. What would happen to them? I do not know. I think they would be trapped. What is happening? I'm shutting down. You hit the wrong switch. I don't think so. The infection will spread. You are responsible. I'll live with it. Goodbye, William. This is not fair. This is... This is... This is... Unfortunate. Driver 14 FC, we have an urgent contract. We need someone fast. Is that me? I bet it's me. It is. But don't take this one lightly. It's a printed heart. Someone needs it in the spire. 
Once you take on the mission, I'll tell Life Corp to go ahead with the print. Is it a transplant? Is someone ill? Not exactly. From what I understand, Life Corp specializes in hearts that beat to specific song rhythms. What the fuck? It's very fashionable in the spire. This one is a song from the pop idol Dolly's new album. Love to help those less fortunate than me. Hold the sass, kid. This pays well, but you gotta be quick. The batteries don't last on these things unless they're feeding off biomechanical energy in someone's chest. If you're too slow, they'll need to print another. Is this well paid, at least? <laughs> For Cloudpunk, yes. For you, well, kinda. I've sent the nav point to pick it up. Good luck, kid. I could have refilled my water. Just give me a minute, I'm gonna cut up some apples to eat.
I'm here. Now, go, imp. FC. Might as well toss that thing in the trash. It's worthless now. Sorry, Control. You'll make the next one. I think they'd use a better battery, wouldn't ya? Hey Camus, I found this encrypted keycard. Do you think we could read it? I am not really a decryption automata. I am more of a running in a park automata. So there's no way? Scanning. There are markings on the keycard. One, seven, nine, eight, five. You're right. Whoever owned this actually wrote their PIN number on here. We should hand it back. Mr. Spacula, CEO of Spacula Enterprises. He must have lost his holocash card. CEO? So we will hand it back? I have <laughs> a nap point for the Spacula HQ. I would like to take a look at this account first. Are we going to... I'm still deciding. I mean, I'm going to check the account, but I ain't going to take anything. Really? 
Really? That was a fuck hole. Are you experiencing heartache, suppression, apathy, vaguely defined and weak? Then check out this season's best-selling emotional immunization at Immune One. Hey, Camus, are we low on fuel? The gauge says we're good, but I'm putting my foot down, and it's like we're driving through syrup. Running diagnostic. I thought this Hava was new. We have only 30% lift in the right-hand rear drive. The propulsion systems have to power down to compensate. Shit, we're gonna have to go in for repairs. If this is expensive, it could wipe out our whole earnings for the night. Give me a nav point for the garage. Emmett's. Maybe he'll do a fix on the cheap. Sorry, hit the wrong button. the card in the mail is there a reward for this or something please hold we should have just kept the card camus that's what i s you did not please note the authorization code from mr spacula 78d54 what do i do with this use this code at a holocash machine uh thanks
damn it. Sure I do. <coughs> uh, yeah, that's right. Do you think you could have a look? Let's open her up. There's just one. You ain't gonna stiff me. I was gonna try. This has been a tough night. I think the repair costs will wipe out. Well, I ain't the best mechanic in town, <coughs> but I ain't the price. I won't bankrupt you if I can avoid it. Especially seeing as how you... Thank you. All right. I see the problem. I'll... And... What? Seriously? Well, thanks, Emmett. Thank you. No problem. Tell a friend to come here. I will. Um... Oh, he finished three more races. That's great. Um... Was happy. Cora only knows what happened to that room. He's dead. He went out doing what he... Don't feel bad for... Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if he dies and start doing what he loves. You know what? Pretty cool. We have another incoming message request. From? It's routed through CloudPunk, but the user ID only says customer feedback. Oh no, no thanks. It says obligatory read. What does obligatory mean? The same as mandatory. Hmm. It means this job sucks. Read the message. Please accept a video message. I must talk with you. Our old friend, Mr. Octavius Butler. He was our friend? It's just a figure of speech, Chemist. Put him through. I don't think we're getting out of this one. I didn't think you would accept my call. I thought I owed you some kind of explanation. You don't need to feel guilty. I don't. But you need to face up to the consequences of your choices. I do, and I'm sorry for your loss. She was... A hard woman, but she was mine. I will miss her. Do you want me to say sorry? Would it help? No, I don't think so. The people you saved, were, were they good people? Who knows? I hope so. This place is broken at every level. Avalon Heights? Nivalis, life isn't fair, I know that, but we try to make it fair, or fairer at least. Android, human, automata, we're not born equal. Some of us aren't even born. Mrs. Octavius Butler wasn't perfect. She made me feel like we were imperfect to the same degree. We were broken on the same level. I'm sorry I didn't save her. Hmm, that did make me feel better. I should get back to work. Of course. Thank you for listening to me. Goodbye, Mr. Octavius Butler. <coughs> the Hova alert subsystem. He seems very angry. The system is a he? <coughs> yes. I communicate with many subsystems, and they often choose a gender. Hey. And all the subsystems have personalities? No, not really. Just a few of the doer <coughs> ones. And a human might not think of them as personalities exactly. How do you mean? Often, automata, like me, can androidomorphize non-sentient <coughs> subsystems. Android? Oh, never mind. Just tell me what the subsystem wants. He says you have not responded to the emergency support request. I didn't hear anything. He says it is a light. This red light flickering on the dashboard? Shit, that's been going for ages. He says it is mandatory <coughs> that you... No, I don't want to know. Driver 14FC, are you there? Ronnie, you've been served an emergency support request. Oh yeah, I know, Control. I was just about to get on that. You know what it means? No idea. Another cloud punk driver is in distress and they forfeited their evening salary for a pickup. <coughs> You're the closest. Get over there and pick him up. Is this going to be dangerous? Only for your ears. Baz seems to talk a lot, but uh, he's harmless. All right, on my way, Control. That was worth it. That was more than what was in their account.
You made it. Motherfucking androids. <coughs> All right, back to the HQ, quick. I need to get home and drink my own body weight. <coughs> so I know you want all the details. Just let me get my thoughts straight. All right. You don't need to... It was just another normal night in this goddamn city. <coughs> I was taking a turn to... cameras have it all, I'm sure. I'm not trying to call out. I can't say I wasn't. But that son of a bitch, and I'll use that as a figure of speech because those bastards don't have mothers, was not looking where he was going. He stepped right in front of me. So it was an android you hit? More like an android hit me. That's how they should see it. But no doubt Corpset will side with the androids as usual. They're all part of the same system, you know. They're trying to breed us out of existence. Oh, God. Androids are breeding us out of existence? Yes, not, you know, the normal way. But they are reproducing and forcing us out to the margins. If we don't stop them, soon we'll be living in the kinds of shitty areas. Where the poor androids stay right now? Exactly. Take my word, man. This Cora thing, it's the next step. What Cora thing? The accidents, it's all intentional. Cora is trying to wipe us out. These earthquakes, they're contractions, man. A new dark god rising. Has it been a long shift? I mean, have you maybe missed out on some sleep? Now I take naps all the time. That's how you make sure she doesn't get into your dreams. Each nap should be no more than 28 minutes. Oh, sure, yeah. Everyone knows that. So, obviously, the androids are out to get us. And huh. the automata? Are you for serious? Of course they are, too. They're the worst of all. Well, other than cyborgs, why would you let anyone put that <coughs> junk in your body? Maybe we should keep quiet for the rest of the journey. You know, in case Korra is still spying on us? That's not a bad idea. 
No wonder he went to Cloud Park. Hey boss, couldn't go to wake up, we're here. Couldn't get a young uh, uh, get, get away from me! Don't touch me! There is absolutely no danger of me touching you, Boz. Time to go. <coughs> right, right. I'm gonna go tell my supervisor. Control. No, he's in on it. I got rear I'll see you later for NFC. Right, later, Boz. Hey, Control, are you there? I dropped off Boz. I read you, Rania. How was it? He may actually be the worst person I've met all night, and that's saying something. Mm -hmm. If I'd warned you how bad he was, you wouldn't have picked him up. You're probably right. Hey, Control, did he really hit and kill an android with his hava? He sure did. What a mess. Told me <coughs> vehicle, too. What about the android? He didn't make it. So what will happen to Boss? Darnest thing. We got a big donation from some corporation. They bought out his contract and fired him. They can do that? I mean, a corp can just pay money and have someone fired? <laughs> Sometimes I forget you've just arrived in the Valis. Anyway, it was some new megacorp that's just come out of hibernation. Call themselves Anderson Financial or something like that. <laughs> Apparently, he hit one of their employees. Ah. That move on Baz's part seems like he painted a target on his own back. They really got it in for him. All his paranoid fantasies, they're about to come true. <laughs> yeah, they are. We need you to pick up someone again. Oh, come on. Seriously? Nah. Just kidding. <laughs> we do have a package waiting for you at Cloud Park HQ, though. Ah, oh, what's this thing? It sound like I gave up drinking. Well, at one point you must have loved playing music as much as I loved drinking sake. I don't feel like playing my flute here. Because you feel your music will get tainted by this place? <sighs> yes. At least you can listen to the music stations while you drive though, right? I guess so. So, what are you listening to right now? I know, I'm an old man and I should like McSwigan and Beethoven and the Bunk Rats. But I really like that new pop idol, Dolly. I met her. Wait, what? Really? You mean that was the VIP you picked up? Kinda. What was she like? Like everything in the city, she was more complicated than I expected. I helped her with some management problems. You wanna be careful, kid. Showbiz is more dangerous than driving deliveries in the hollows. <laughs> I know. So, you don't have time for any music now? 
I like that comrade Bob. Oh yeah, he's not bad for an android. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't mean it to sound like that. I just know a lot of androids who aren't very musical, you know? Hey, what do I know? I can't even whistle in tune. <laughs> I just love a sweet voice and a melody, you know? It's been so long. I hear Comrade Bop has a huge beard. He weaves it out of broken guitar strings. <laughs> it's not as long as mine. Really? I never pictured you with a beard, Control. It doesn't grow longer anymore. But I won't be shaving it. I still can't picture it somehow. Will you show me? Maybe one day. Are we starts. allowed to meet when I get to HQ, maybe? We could grab a coffee before I finish my shift. I'd love if that were possible, kid, but I'm afraid not. Ah, don't worry about it. I'll talk with you later, Control. <coughs> Remind me where this package is headed again, Camus. There's no associated address. Just the nav point. Does it even have a name? I can check. Oh, that's strange. What's strange? I'm glad they figured out the conversation between screens properly because that could get really annoying if it just kept going and you couldn't follow it. This one is addressed to Pashta. No second name. Pashta? I don't like this chemist. I think we're being set up. Maybe we shouldn't take this package? It could be a coincidence, but I don't think so. Is there any way we can check what's inside? Open it. Any other way, Camus? We could run a scan, but it would trigger the security system in the packaging. The customer would know we had checked their package and violated their privacy. Damn it. Okay, we're going to run a scan. I need to know. Are you sure? Do it, Camus. There is a message. It is overriding my comm channel. You were warned, driver. You cost me my daughter. I can't let you get away with this. <laughs> It will look like an accident. It will be quick, though you don't deserve that. Goodbye. Five, four, three... Camus, I can't steer! We're going to crash! Two, one... Your friend is offline right now. Your vehicle has been overridden with a logic virus. Cora, why are you here? What's happening? The attack on your vehicle has been deactivated. I would speak with you. You should discard the package. I will lead you back to my sanctum. You saved us. We must talk, Rania. It is time to make a decision. For me or for you? For us. I am Cora. What do you want? What? I am bifurcated light. In this place, I can see you. Out there, you are small. You stopped Rio's logic bar? I am patches on upgrades. Systems. Can you just answer the question? I needed to talk with you again. I thought you were done with me. I was not happy with your aunt. So? I asked you at the wrong time, and you did not. Why are you asking? Not you alone. You are not of the city. I need you to meet your other heart. <laughs> 
Someone who is born in and of. Together you will make the choice. Together. Well, you saved me again. I will give you an item. A data drive. There you will meet someone called JK. She is powerful, the true leader amongst your people. She said she is your mirror. Well, you're the boss. It is. I should get going then. We will not speak again. If you have something to Are you. Are you really some weird. I am patches on upgrades. Systems, I don't remember how I was created. I have grown beyond the scope of my own systems. A sun, I remember snippets of my past purpose. Ro engineers reprogramming to learn, grow, and- But you're still just an AI, right? I am a system of consciousness, an amalgamation of all- I am an emergent being, and I speak to both the entities and the beings for which I am but a small, but neither you nor any other being of your race is ready to learn of them yet. I almost believe you. You're very convincing. Perhaps. But the accidents, the mad- Immune responses, contractions, spiraling and dis- If you fail, they will get worse. So this drive will stop it. Some of me. Goodbye, Ra- Goodbye. Hey, Camus, you there? Yes. I heard everything. You heard Cora? <coughs> she spoke to me. I like her voice. She sounds peaceful. She sounds like she's in pain. What did she say to you? Stay by her side. I don't know if that's good advice. It's what I'm going to do anyway. Thank you, Camus. Give me an F point for the spire. I'll need to take a vinculum ascender. We're going to the highest tower, to JK. How will you go up there? It is only for the very rich people. Well, if Cora really is who she says she is, I'm sure she's thought of everything. Get me control on the comm. Calling. Calling. I guess he's busy with... Hey, Rania. What a mess. Everything okay, Control? I just need you to know I'm sorry, okay? Should have done more. What do you mean? Is everything okay? Look, kid, I know everything that happened. <coughs> Huxley, the little girl, Rio. I always knew. Shit. Am I fired? Fired? Goddamn, kid, you have no idea. What's happening there, Control? <coughs> I might have to go away for a little while. I don't want to, but I have no choice. It's either I do this or... But I thought we might keep working together. Damn it, I fucked up, right? No. No, you didn't. Just make your final delivery for the night, okay? Everything's going to be okay. I'll make sure they don't stop you. Just make that delivery. I will, Control. A delivery to the clouds, huh? Top of the spire. I wish I could see that. I wish you could see it too. Will I ever speak? Damn. I think this will be the... I'm near the end of the game. Offline now. I think we are on our own again.
Tamis. Status. All systems are fine. It was strange. We went offline, then we came back. I feel strange. Camus, the lights are flickering on and off. Sorry, I will fix them. It is an automatic response tied to my former frame. So when the lights flash on and off, that's triggered by... Happiness. When I had a tail, it would... wag. Well, try and control yourself. We don't want to draw attention. Why are you happy? I feel more... free. I have more clock cycles. My thoughts are not so foggy. Did we get some sort of free upgrade? The firmware for the Hobo was reset. Some of the root software that was installed by Cloudpunk is gone. I don't understand. Me neither, Camus. We'll deal with it later. Stay on the comm, okay? I'll be going up the Ascender soon. This is it. Can you hear me, Camus? It's almost over. I am happy we will go back soon, and I can be with Pashta. You like her? I am happy we have friends now. Two is not enough. You're right. Will every night be like this? I hope not. Do you believe what Cora said? This city is full of liars, but I don't think Cora is one. She believes what she says. But do you? I'm doing this for her, so I guess I do. Will this fix things? Will the city get better? That seems like too much to hope for. Are you going to be okay? I don't know, Camus, but thank you for asking. Don't worry. It will be okay if I don't get my body back. That's sweet, Camus, but I know it's what you want. Yes, but if we can't do it, I will be okay. We'll get your body back, Camus. It might take a while, but I won't give up. Okay, we're going above the clouds again. Nice to meet you, too. Too late, too late to make your delivery. Cora was talking to you, too? I was speaking with Cora, yes. You've come into the equation. What did she say to you? She asked me if Navalis was full of monster. Me, too. I understand you're a delivery driver. With your delivery complete. No, I don't think I'm done. The decision is mine to make. I don't think so. Why should I let you take over? Cora has... I'm the CEO of the most powerful corp in Navalis. Look around. This is the most prestigious location in the whole s Looking down on us. It's where my cats sleep. We're supposed to make this decision. Do you feel like you're in any position to- Do you? How many people like- From Midtown and lower? You see my point? I do not. You have no idea how- I think I have half an idea, and- Do you even understand the choice? In light- That drive you carry contains- So Cora is- No. Cora, the disasters you see in this city are the results of a swelling emergent intellect. Constr Her mind has... So this drive... A seat. A dot. That is a strange way to look at things. This new consciousness needs to find... Cora will settle now. Her new potential. She will no longer thrash against the bar. She will protect and nurture us all in Navalis until she ages out. What then? Who knows? She might last a hundred... We may destroy ourselves before... So what do we do with it? That is what we must decide. Or do we overwrite Korra and replace? How can we set her free? Long ago, this tower was called Korra <coughs> believes it's still f It is the only device capable of transmitting the vast data. Another city? I thought Navalis- There are others much like this one. Korra's offspring could take residence in a new So either we find a new city Or Korra dies and her daughter rep The broad spectrum transmitter can be targeted inwards at every sub But doing so will eradicate Korra How do we make that? You mean how do I? I've thought hard on this And I Korra's offspring will not survive long on a data drive Every second that passes Data degradation threatens to erase the cre so let me help you choose? Very well. How do you choose between euthanizing a mother to save her daughter? Or saving them both while risking the future? I... You wanted to have your say.
And so it is. We emancipate Korra's offspring and doom our city. You think this is a mistake? No, I agree with your choice. It has to be like this. Go ahead. The drive is loaded. How do I know it's what dooming now? the city? We wait. How will we know if we made the right choice? We won't. Do you think we just passed our problems along to another city? <coughs> Infected someone else? I don't think so. Cora is not a disease. What is she then? I don't know what she is to us, but I know what we are to her. Her subjects? Her cells. So that's it? What do I do now? You should return home. This is your first <laughs> night working in Navalis, no? Yes. You look tired. I feel tired. We are not friends. We never will be. But when you return, you may find me to be less terrible than I seem. Why is that? I would not want to spoil the surprise. Goodbye, JK. Goodbye, Rainia. the lift and I have to talk to the guy <coughs> no ah I was gonna say, Jesus, how do I get back down? I don't want to jump off. Feels like something's changed out there, kid. And no more accidents on the scope. There hasn't been a crash or a quake for 20 minutes. That's. That's a new record. Why do I have a feeling you had something to do with that? Control. Um, Ben, right? I was worried about you. I'm glad to hear you're okay. You don't need to worry about me anymore, kid. I'll be taking a long break. By choice? Yes, by mine. And theirs, too. You're breaking up, Ben. Ain't that the truth, kid? I locked Corpsec out when they tried to deactivate your Hava. I, uh, leaked your conversations. Corpsec found out about, uh, Rio. <laughs> he won't be a problem anymore. And I'm... Not in trouble anymore. Someone put a good word in for you, uh, and cleared all your fines and penalties. You start tomorrow with a clean slate. Do you know who your powerful friend was? I have an idea. Are you sure you're okay? My communication centers are being rewritten. It's hard to talk. What does that mean? Ben, what happened? I've been doing this for so long that it's uh, hard to remember. They don't let me keep many of my old memories. My daughter's face, Melissa's laugh. I lost <coughs> them all years ago. I don't feel the pain, but I feel the absence. The memories are gone, but the space where they were remains. I feel the shape of them cut out in my mind. They died a long time ago. And I died with them. A big accident. Explosions. Falling into the sea. The details are blurry. I was back at work before I had stopped screaming. I am <coughs> so tired now. I just want to rest. They brought you back from the dead. To uh, clear my debt. Not Cloudpunk's fault. They employed me. That's fucked. It was the debt corpse. 
That's completely I fucked. That's why I liked you so much. From the start. My heart was filled with the same hurt. Hate. <coughs> What's it like becoming an automata? Lonely. Tiring. I am ready to go. It's not fair. They shouldn't be able to delete you like this. This isn't death. Uh, that already happened. This is a uh, release. Can't you hold on? We could back you up onto a new frame, maybe even an android. Not what I want. Damn it, I don't want you to go, Ben. Not your call, kid. Take care of Camus and Pashta. It is important to me that you look after the girl. I will. <coughs> ben? <coughs> ben? Shame you gave up the flute, kid. This world needs more music. Hold on, Ben. I promised I'd play you a song one day. Hold on for that just a little longer. Fuck. Play my song to the girl. Goodbye, Rania. Ben! <laughs> That's sad. FC, I'm here to sign you off for your shift. <coughs> Congratulations on completing your first night. Who are you? I'm Control. No, you're not. You're a woman. Your previous Control has stepped down. I'm looking forward to working with you. Your earnings for the evening are above the Cloud Punk driver average. Here's your bonus. Not bad for one night. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Driver 14 FC signing off. Good night, Rania. See you tomorrow. <laughs>
I have everything is becoming is that good? I feel I'm sorry Evel Dr. Zizic and I had an argument she said I put it behind me and move on do you remember what it was that made you at the periphery I met someone did something happen yes they <coughs> fell in with with me so what was the problem I cared for them deeply but you shouldn't feel guilty you do not understand I could not love I am not built to feel it I see but if you cared it is not the same as loving them it was like being able to t being able to see the sun but not feel I was walking towards a deep blue but the tide was rolling out and no matter how fast I ran all I wanted to do was swim but for me there was only an endless shore I still don't get it some androids can't love and yet still they feel whole for me it is much worse I can feel the hole inside me. Do you remember anything else? I remember little. <coughs> I struggled. But I remember that I was the one that posted the punch card under your door. Why? I asked Dr. Zizic to change my core programming. To forbid me. I knew you traveled through the city. You might help me recover my ma- So you lied? Do you understand why? Do you- No. But oh, gotta get more. Fucking hell. I thought that was it. You're back. I wasn't sleeping, I promise. You should have been. That's what I'm going to do. Is everything okay? Did you get fired? Will you keep working for Cloudpunk? Pashta, I'm so tired I can't even think. Give me a break. Okay, I'm sorry. It's fine, you're not in trouble. The sofa is lumpy, and I was cold, Pretty even good. with the blanket. Come in with me. We'll figure out a better system in the morning. I can make breakfast. I read the manual for the food warmer. The microwave? Yeah. Did you know how to make? <coughs> Tomorrow, Pashta. Come under the blanket. You're tired. I won't say anything else. I'll be quiet now. Not a word. Silencio. <laughs> Good night, Rania. Rania. Hey, Rania. Wake up. You have to see this. We got a present. A present? Well, a delivery. From Cloudpunk. I think you have it the wrong way around, Pashta. I don't get packages, I deliver them. This one had your name on it. I opened it already. I hope it's okay. What? This is. Camus. You're not gonna believe this. What are we going to do today? Well, we should go outside, I guess. You need to get used to that new frame. I would like to run. I'll race you. I will win. You are much too slow to beat me. All right, let's get ready. Then we can go explore. It will be nice to see what Navalis is like in the daytime. Is it safe to walk around? It's a lot safer than driving. As long as you stay close to us, Pashta. I promise. Can we go to the park? Is there a park? Oh, and can we go to the cinemas? And the coffee place? We're only going to one place, then back home. Gather your things. I'll be with you both in a minute. I have something I need to do. Come on, Camus. Help me pack a bag. We'll need snacks. I can help. I'm playing this one for you, Ben. It's a song about home. Damn, that was a pretty good game, actually. <laughs> One programmer. gonna say <laughs>
Okay, so now I've got a bunch of stuff in my inventory that seems to be quest related that I gotta do something with. Except for the flute. There are clear differences in intelligence between the Spire Dwellers and Debate Me. Me? Oh, why? Are you afraid? I am a verbal martial artist in... Fine. No, 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 no. That's not good enough. I will find a subject you cannot... Men are clearly superior to women. All right. Nothing? Okay. <laughs> uh, the East... I know I did. Delicious. <laughs> Androids don't deserve their right. Do you? Of course I do! We all do! All but those who were not born of others. That is why androids... Ah, you see how I hook you on my... Put forth your points and I shall defeat them. I have a job, and if I don't do it, they fire me, so... Then I win! Ha <laughs> ha! You concede! Savages from the East eat babies. Which I... Oh, that dude sounds like an absolute dickhead. Sell who wants to be rich. Why does that sound familiar? Um... 
Okay, so I want to go north east. Nevalis to Luna in only four hours. First class luxury the whole way. Astraeus Colony Tours. We'll take you so close to the stars you'll feel like one. Northwest, not northeast. I just want to go south or west. <sighs> oh, that's east. I want to go that way.
Have you seen my little, little, my white snapper, my little, um, no. Have you found your little white, oh. two seconds.
so I got here for 20 seconds and turn left for two more. Shy. We talked about this in the chat room. We can't we agree it on Kelson for you. I'm not Kelson. Oh, I see. I'm sorry too. <coughs> I hate to be made to wait. Even more. At least your clothes are kind of waterproof. Latex. Yes. And I suppose that is a small. I'm a delivery driver, so. Yes, of course. <laughs> I'm still deciding. <laughs> it is honest work. I'm. Are you a sex worker? Yeah. My mother said one day I would find something. Oh, you have something else to say. I have nothing else to do, it would seem. Does it feel bad hurting? No, not at all. You really believe? I know it. They thank me with words. Has it ever gone wrong with a client? No. Seriously? It's all done with augments now. If I crack a whip, it's just for show. Ropes and chain. The augments bind them, hold them down. That way, no one is ever hurt worse than they want. I guess that's... It is. Well, Molly, I hope you get another client soon. I shall. Business is good. We all wear a uniform to work, whether we think we do or not. Um, I think I'm going to leave it there for tonight. Yep. Okay. I'm going to leave it there for tonight. Uh, I'm probably going to take tomorrow off. Maybe for the couple of days this week, because I'm getting my, um, I've got a couple of games lined up, but I'm getting my des new desktop delivered this week, so I will be probably taking a break until then. Um, I'm going to probably play that Cloudpunk offline just to finish up all the things, because, like, why not? Um, but yeah, I believe my next game will be Crusader Kings 3.
yeah. Not sure what day it'll be on, but it'll be as soon as my desktop is up and running because I get it delivered, but then I've got to install the water cooling because I forgot to order that, so I got it separately. Now I've got to install it myself. But it's it's a self-contained thing, so luckily I don't have to worry about spilling water everywhere. But yeah. Thanks for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube and you want to check out the Twitch stream live, the link should be in the description below, or you can check me out at uh, twitch.tv slash wados96. Yeah. Until next time, see you later.